Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I'm going to show you some 2x3 budless RAM. Now, as I'm sure you all know, in 1.5, the Redstone update, there are going to be some major changes to the way Redstone works. We're going to be losing buds, and we don't know whether or not we'll be getting a replacement. And in Redstone computing, one of the big things that we use buds for is RAM, okay? Bud RAM is fantastic. It's fast, it's compact, and yeah, it just rocks. And losing that is kind of a problem so what I thought I'd do is try to make some 2x3 budless RAM because that's compact and I can keep it pretty fast and so this is what I've got today we're going to take a look at the RAM itself and then how it all works so let's get started alright so let's start off with a quick demonstration we'll turn this guy on we'll turn this guy on that's a 5 we'll save that one over here and then what we'll do is we'll turn, how about we turn all of them on? And we can save that down here. It looks like I've got one read on already. We'll turn that off. And we'll start by reading this address. This should be our 5. And we output a 5, just like we're supposed to. We can turn that off. And let's check this one out. That one should be our 15. Works perfectly. And so now that you've seen that this thing actually works, let's dive into it and see how the memory works. This RAM is based on a gated D latch, and at the core of the D latch is an SR latch. Okay, so you can see we've got your standard RS NOR latch down here. This torch feeding into this torch, then this torch feeds back into that torch. And so if I turn it on over here, we set it, and then I can flip this guy over here. And we reset it. Works beautifully. And now when I clock this, a pulse comes down and it sets it to on. But then, based on the state of this piston, meaning the state of the input, it either resets or it doesn't reset. And we can see how that works. What happens is there's a pulse that comes up here too. And so this torch turns off which allows this torch to turn on if the piston's up. But if the piston's down, this guy powers this torch, and so that can't reset it. And so let's try that out. We'll turn this on. So now this piston's down, this torch is powering this torch. And so what happens is when we send our clock pulse, we can come down here and we can set it, but because this torch cannot turn on, we can't reset it, so we end up with a one. And so let's try that. Now we can read it down here. And there we go, that's our one. And so let's check out the other situation. We'll turn the input off. And so now, because this piston's up, this torch is not powering this torch. It's only being powered over here. So it'll get set down here, but then a pulse will come up here. And when this torch goes off, this guy can turn on, and we reset the SR latch and so we set it to zero and let's try that now when we read there we go it's a zero and that is how this RAM works the trick was just getting it into a nice compact form but it worked and it's awesome alright so today we've taken a look at a compact and fast RAM design that doesn't use any buds which means it should be good to go in both 1.4 and 1.5 that's awesome. I don't think this design at 2x3 can be made to be dual read, but 2x4 might work. And so I'm going to be playing around with that. I've got another 2x4 design that I might play around with as well, and we'll see. We'll get a dual read out somehow. But I invite you guys to try. I'm definitely going to be trying to make a dual read, and yeah, let me know if you can do it. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.